Shane Steichen spoke to the media just a few minutes ago, and he talked about three things primarily. Number one, Will Fries, the surgery today is successful in Jacksonville. So he's on his way back to Indianapolis. Good for Will Fries. We hope that he recovers fully and that he has the use of that leg forever and in a quality use of that leg forever. Absolutely. Then he talked about his faith in Gus Bradley. And this is where things kind of got a little bit murky. Because Gus Bradley, if you have faith in Gus Bradley's defense, now whether that's a matter of a, a qualitative discussion about the players on the defense or schematics, or maybe it's not a binary discussion at all. Maybe it's both that are to blame. You, you can't continue to defend what is not defendable. And that is Gus Bradley, two years ago, 28th in the NFL, last year 28th in the NFL, and this year ranking in the 30s in a whole lot of metrics where it comes to playing defense in the NFL. You, you can't come out and say, I got faith in the guys in the room, I got faith in Gus Bradley, because when you do that, you sound like a crazy person. And we look and say, well, he's lying through his teeth because nobody in their right mind would have faith given the way this defense has performed over the last three years without any, any changes to the de You did sign Raekwon Davis as a backup defensive tackle. You did draft Leatu Latu. All right, so, but you didn't replace any of the starters, right? Latu is supposed to play behind Ebicom as a rookie. This defense has been terrible. Then the third thing that Steichen talks about, and you'll hear him, at the end, talk about Dallas Flowers. He was cut today. And and so the and what Steichen said, and you'll hear it, so, I mean, we'll talk about it afterward too, is that uh, he's not going to get into the details. I don't know why not. We know he sucked. If the truth is that he's not a good enough football player to maintain his position on this team, his place on the roster. Say it. You lose nothing by saying that, and you gain kind of the respect of the fans who now understand, you know what, there's a penalty to be play paid if you play like crap. That's a good thing, ultimately. Anyway, here's Shane Steichen, and we'll talk about it after. Um, I'll start off just an update on Will Fries. Um, he had successful surgery uh, in Florida. Uh, he'll be flying home today. Um, shoot, wish him all the best in his recovery. Just an ultimate competitor feel for him. Um, he's been doing everything, you know, right all year, playing his tail off. And it's just an unfortunate thing that happened to him. So wish him all the best in his recovery. Take our first question from James. Shane, I know you're not on social media, but just to, I guess, get it out the way. When healthy, is Anthony Richardson your starting quarterback? Yes, he is our starting quarterback. Okay, and then just an update on his overall health, JT, like those two guys in particular. Yeah, they're doing well. Uh, we'll see how the week goes, uh, but they're both they're both feeling really good. So we'll see how the week progresses. Nate? Hey, Shay, I know we asked you yesterday about kind of your faith in this defense, their, the players, and how they're going to turn this around. Uh, just kind of curious what your faith level is in Gus Bradley to do the same kind of what, what is it about Gus that I guess gives you the confidence that, that he can write this ship? Well, Gus has been doing this for a long time and uh, he's had incredible defenses um, obviously where he's been. And I got the faith and trust in him to get this thing turned around. And uh, if you look back at the game, the biggest thing um, that we need to improve on is, you know, not giving up the explosive plays. And we allowed, you know, too many of those and we got to get those things cleaned up. Um, and also, you know, affecting the quarterback, you know, whether that's with a four man rush, a five man rush or a six man rush, we got to affect the quarterback, uh, early in games and we go from there. Steven. Hey Shane, uh, maybe this isn't like the biggest problem, but, um, you know, Alec had those big plays late in the game yesterday. Uh, I don't think he had any targets before like those last few minutes. Um, and I'm wondering this, you know, he, I think he's fourth on your team in targets. He does have these big plays, the series of big plays all year. Can you or should you do more as a team to get him the ball? Or what, what do you think? What do you see there? Yeah, he he's a big play waiting to happen. And those big plays just happen to happen at the end of the game. And he created them. And, you know, if we can get them early in the game, too, that's great. And uh, the plays that we hit there at the end, you know, we got great looks for him. We got great looks. And he was able to come down with them. 
Um, but yeah, we're, we'll always look at that stuff early in games, you know, getting pit the ball, downs the ball. Obviously, JT's got to get his touches. Um, everyone's got to get their touches. So that's something we look through, um, Stephen, you know, every week. And, uh, you know, we'll keep looking at that for sure. Greg? Hey, Shane, you don't need to worry about social media for this one. I, I wrote it and I'll ask you and I'll, I want you to understand where I'm coming from so you know how to answer it. Um, you look at Richardson, three TDs, six picks. Mm -hmm. Policing percentage is what it is. Blacko has done what he's done. Are you guys trying to win this year or are you trying to develop Richardson? Obviously, you want to do both, but yeah. does one we're, take precedence over the other? We're trying to win football games. That's the bottom line. We're trying to win football games. Uh, and when Anth Anthony's out there, obviously, he's he makes a lot of big plays for us. And uh, that's where it's at. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Kevin? Shane, what didn't you see from Anthony last week that you need to see this week in order for him to play? Uh, just making sure he, he feels really good uh, with his with his body. Um, obviously, the medical staff, all those different things. Uh, but going through that process, uh, the rehab, the practice, uh, making sure he feels ready to go. And I know it, it can be a big phrase, but do you feel like AD has made some business decisions in competing for the ball? No, I think, you know, you work through those things. Uh, you know, AD, I, he's got he's got great route running ability, and, and we'll continue to work through those things as we get going, for sure. Joel? Shane, is it is it fair to say that, like, if you for your defensive philosophy, it would be limit explosives as much as possible and, and yeah. everything kind of works off that? Yeah, I think that's a big part of it. You want to eliminate, eliminate explosives and then keep the points down, you know, is a big deal. Um, so that's that's where it's at. And uh, we'll work through those things. Shoot, like I said, man, I really do. I got a lot of confidence in the guys in the locker room. I really do. You know, we had two good weeks the past two weeks. Obviously, we'd love to have yesterday back, but we can't take it back. And we got to move forward. We got to learn from our mistakes. Uh, there's con constructive criticism, um, you know, holding people accountable. Um, going forward, and uh, that's what we got to get done. We got a huge division game coming up, you know, in Tennessee that we got to get ready to go play. George, Shane Dalton Tucker was obviously one of the big stories of the preseason. What did you see from him after he came in, and how tough of a situation is that for a guy coming right off the bench? Yeah, it's tough, and I thought he handled it really well. He came in and did some good things. Pass pro was clean, um, so obviously we'll look at that this week. Um, but if he's out there um, at that guard spot, got a lot of faith in him. Uh, moving forward for sure. And we'll take our last two here. We'll go James and then Kevin. Sorry, Kevin already asked mine, so I'm good. All right. Kevin? Shane, I know a, a lot of people say when you're down 14 analytically, if you score that touchdown, you go for two. Is that something you yeah. believe in? Um, Without getting into detail, I mean, there's a time and a place for it, but there also is a time and a place where if you go for two there and you don't get it, it's kind of like, oh, crap. So sometimes you take the points there and then you go for two uh, at the end uh, if you need to do it and win it. And obviously to go for two there, there's 2.30 left. I didn't think it was the right time to go for two uh, there at the end because of the time on the clock. Uh, my bad, Shane. I meant to ask you this. I know Dallas Flowers was uh waived, so can you just yeah. speak about knowing him as a player, the person, but also what went into that decision to move on from him? Yeah, I, I won't get into detail. Uh, it was a decision. Oops, can you hear All us, right. coach? Yeah, sorry. Thanks, guys. Do you, can you do you mind repeating that really quick? I think it cut out. Uh, I just want to make sure everything. We're good, Okay. Thanks. All right. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I didn't get that last answer. So if anybody got it, it definitely froze. Yeah. I don't know what yeah. happened. Yeah. I don't know what he said about Dallas at all. So you guys yeah. didn't hear him here. Just hit him with all Yeah, I didn't yeah. hear that. My bad. He's asking about yeah. That. I was just saying I'm I'm not I'm not gonna get into detail on it, but I do. I wish Dallas all the best moving forward. Okay. Thank you. All right. Yeah, thanks. Thank Thanks, you, Coach. Yeah. All right, there's Shane Steichen. It's Steichen, it wouldn't, you know, it, it would have been funny if he had kind of pulled the Chevy Chase. Like at the end, couldn't hear the answer, right? Maybe he would just sit in there. Go Not saying anything, just moving his lips, getting up and getting the hell out of there so he doesn't have to answer the question. That wasn't the thing, but he came back 
and he said uh, he doesn't want to get into the details. Well, why the hell not? The guy gave up two touchdown passes, one 85 yards, where he let Brian Thomas Jr. get a free release and run past him. You can say that. He didn't play to our standards. You've got to play to our standards. That's a good thing. The answer about Gus Bradley I thought was inglorious. The good information came about Will Fries. That's, that's Shane Steichen today. You, you have got to comport yourself with confidence in the face of chaos. And if you can't do that, this thing's going to get wobbly and wobbly and wobbly. And I don't want it to get wobbly. I think Shane Steichen is a good coach, kind of learning on the job, his first head coaching position. But the first thing you got to do is look at the camera and tell the truth.